let's start with what we're seeing on commodity markets. Uh, my attention is drawn to oil because of the, uh, the size of the moves and the impact that this can have on inflation expectations. We saw it ramp up into the weekend. Um, then we didn't get the, you know, people's worst fears about what could happen over the weekend in the Middle East. And so oil drops this morning. What are we watching on the oil front? Yeah, well, I think that's about uh, right, Anna. Um, you know, in the background, there are lots of uh, supply disruptions going on, uh, uh, particularly around exports and, and refined products and stuff like that. But front and center right now is the concern about tension in the Middle East. Last week, uh, we had lots of um, uh, verbal threats from Iran about the possibility of an escalation. Thus far on Monday morning, we have not seen that. Um, there's been some speculation about the possibility that a truce might be getting nearer in uh, Israel and Gaza. Uh, not too sure about the veracity of those claims, but it seems at least to have taken a little bit of the heat out of the oil market so far today, which would be a relief for global uh, markets more generally because, uh, because the higher prices that we saw last week caused all of mm. that turbulence right across markets. And sticking with commodities, Paul, gold has really been in focus, new highs on the gold price, and a lot of people asking themselves how on earth this can make sense as we're dialing back rate cut expectations from the Fed. Definitely. And we had a brilliant story of the weekend just asking that question. You know, what exactly is going on with gold? I asked it in London a, a month ago when we were speaking with a bunch of hedge fund managers and they were similarly curious about it uh, and trying to make sense of it. I think that there's definitely some things going on beneath the surface. We know the central demand, central bank demand for gold has been strong, diversifying possibly out of U.S. treasuries and out of the dollar. Some concerns about currency devaluation in some of the emerging markets may be popping up demand as well. But what we're seeing now is trend followers jumping on and bandwagon jumpers look at China as the perfect example of that where ETFs have got misaligned with prices and the miners have been rallying like crazy.